friends in this video i want to explain some shortcut methods formulas to solve compound interest problems in very less time these are very much useful in ibps bank exams see the see here by solving the compound interest problems always we have to assume the principal amount equal to 100% and compound interest is calculated based on based on the rate and time after that we have to use this logic if 100% is this much then compound interest percent is how much by cross multiplication we get the compound interest based on the questions asked in the given problems we have to solve the compound interest problems here we have to calculate the interest not only on the principal amount invested but also on the interest earned in the previous year for example if they ask to calculate compound interest for two years we have to calculate like this first year plus second year in the first year if he earn a rupees then in the second year um, b rupees is earned this is calculated on the principal amount and ab by 100 this is calculated on the interest earned in the previous year like this for two years the compound interest is earned um, a plus b plus ab by 100 in case of 3 years if they ask to calculate compound interest for 3 years in such cases we have to calculate first we have to calculate for 2 years and then for third year in some appropriate problems we have to use these formulas to to get quick answers for example in the question if they have given the difference between simple interest and compound interest on certain sum for 2 years and the r percent rate is given and the difference amount is given and the term time 2 years is given at that time we have to use this formula to get the principal amount like this in the we have to calculate based on these formulas also at the rate of 12 percent per annum we have to calculate the compound interest here always we have to assume 100% equal to principal amount that is 5000 rupees and the compound interest percentage we, we can calculate by using this percentage method a plus b plus ab by 100 net percentage for 2 years and 12 plus here 12% rate is given 12 plus 12 plus like this we get 25.44% that is here by cross multiplication we get the compound interest 25.44% equal to 1272 rupees we have to use um, one logic here 100% equal to 5000 then what is 25.44% is how much like that we have to calculate by cross multiplication let us see one more problem what would be the compound interest on rupees 80000 for a period of 2 years at the rate of 20% per annum here the principal amount is given 80000 rupees and we have to calculate compound interest for 2 years that means um, by net percentage method uh, the compound interest percent equal to 20 the rate of rate uh, is 20% so for 44% is the net percentage of compound interest for 2 years Mm. by implementing this logic if the principal amount 100% equal to 80000 then what is 44% by cross multiplication we get 35200 as answer 35200 as compound interest for 2 years see in this problem what is the compound interest on 5000 rupees for 1 year at 5% per annum payable half yearly for one year half yearly means we have to calculate half year the interest for half year separately and the interest for half year separately like first half year plus second half year see here also for two time periods the net percentage of compound interest is a plus b plus ab by 100 here the 5% the rate of interest 5% is given we can calculate the net percentage as 
we know the hundred percent equal to the principal amount that is five thousand rupees. Then ten point two five percent equal to how much by cross multiplication we get the compound interest five five hundred and twelve point five rupees. See one more problem. A sum of money invested at compound interest amounts to eight hundred in three years and eight eighty two in five years. What is the rate of interest? In this case, we can use the simple interest uh, compound interest formula, shortcut formula. For this, in the case of simple interest, we can use this formula. Here they have asked for compound interest, so we we can use this formula. A M by A N years equal to A M minus N years. Here. M means five years and N means three years. A means amount. Amount equal to we know P into one plus R by hundred whole power N. N means five. So we have to implement this this formula to get the correct answer. By solving this, we get the rate of interest equal to five percent. At sometimes we can use the shortcut formulas also to get quick answers. So in this formula, in this problem, on particular amount, the compound interest at the end of the year is forty rupees, and in the second year is forty two rupees. How much money was deposited? We have to cal calculate here for hundred percent. How much money was deposited means we have to calculate the principal amount that is hundred percent. The rate of interest in this situation we can we can calculate the rate of interest equal to final minus initial by initial into hundred like this we get five percent as rate of interest we know on particular amount the compound interest at the end of the year that means for one year forty rupees so five percent equal to forty rupees then how much for hundred percent by cross multiplication. We get the principal amount as hundred rupees. See one more problem. In this situation, when time period t is given in fraction fractions at compound interest t equal to, if we have to calculate the compound interest for three years and three by four years, then we can use this formula to find out the amount. Then what is the difference between compound interest and simple interest for sum of two twenty twenty thousand over two years period? If compound interest is calculated at twenty percent per annum and simple interest is calculated twenty three percent per annum, here also we can implement the percentage method at the end. First, we have to calculate. We know on simple interest, twenty twenty three percent is the rate for net for two years. The net percentage of simple interest equal to twenty three into two. That means forty six percent. In case of compound interest, the net percentage for two years a plus b plus a b by hundred. Like that, we get forty four percent. The difference of simple interest and compound interest for two years is two percent. Here, the hundred percent is twenty thousand. Um, then we can calculate two percent is how much by cross multiplication. We get this answer. Otherwise, we can implement this in in this shortcut formula. Here. Then the difference between simple interest and compound interest for certain amount three years at the rate of is given. Then um, we can use this formula. By this also we get answer. Otherwise we can get by percentage method also. See here a sum of money on compound interest amounts to thrice itself in three years. In how many years will be it? It be nine times itself. Here the amount is equal to three p. Here a equal. In this problem, the difference between the simple interest 
and compound interest for 2 years is given and the rate percent and the difference amount D is given. In this case, we can use this formula. See here, when the difference between simple interest and compound interest and certain sum for 2 years is given, that is D rupees and rate percent is given. In such cases, to calculate the principal amount, we can use this formula D by R square into 100 square. Otherwise, we can use the shortcut method, the percentage method by assuming the principal amount equal to 100 percent and the compound interest is calculated like this. We can use this shortcut also in this problem. See here. By using this formula, uh, the D amount is 50 rupees and by R is 10 percent. By substituting these val values in this formula, we get the answer 5000 rupees as principal amount. Otherwise, we can use the percentage method also. To calculate the simple interest for 2 years, equal to for 2 years the rate is 10 percent that means 2 into 10 that is simple interest for 2 years is 20 percent and compound interest for 2 years is a plus a plus b plus a b by 100 that is a is 10 percent and in the second year the b is 10 percent and uh, interest earned on the previous year's interest that is 10 into 10 by 100 a b by 100 that is 100 100 by 100 equal to 1 that is totally the compound interest for 2 years is 21 percent here the difference amount between compound interest and simple interest is given that is 1 percent 1 percent is 50 rupees is given we have to calculate the 100 percent is how much we know that Always we have to assume the principal amount as 100 percent that equal to we have to calculate now by cross multiplication we get 100 into 50 divided by 1 by cross multiplication we get 5000 as principal amount. Friends, if you want to watch my videos on free basis, please click on subscribe button so that you get latest updates directly into your mail. Please click on subscribe button.